and the beat goes on and on and on and on, on and on and on and on. And on, and on, and on. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, two, two, three. The most holy. Glenn Sutter, the hits of yesteryear. Happy holidays from CDMO. How much could you sing chords like that if you weren't in the jingle business? Yeah, let's move on. That's cool. And now we're at Nina Blackwood's Absolutely 80s. We're just going to punch in the ending on this. Nina Blackwood's Nina Blackwood. Absolutely 80s. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's more fun than teaching. <laughs> if I could do this full time, I would. It's been 20 years of fun and, and uh, very gratifying occupation. A lot of fun. Yeah. One of them was the was the very first one we did, um, and it was uh, the Richard Chevy thing. Isn't that a Richard Chevy up ahead? Oh yeah. That was yeah. fun. Oh, I, I remember one in particular. We did a we did a WNBC, uh, and it was uh, in New York. And I went to visit my son just a week later. And I'm in a taxi cab, and I'm hearing myself sing in between every song on the radio. It was, it was a real real hoot. Max, 20th century. Actually, one that comes to mind is uh, the Big Time Bobby's Basketball Supply. It had the basketball, actual basketball being dribbled throughout the whole thing in tempo. Better man than I that could do that. And I come here amongst friends and professionals, and uh, I get to improve my sight reading and sing a lot of different styles. And I just feel like I'm a way better musician because of the time I spent here. I remember definitely hearing this once in Florida when we were there, just had the TV on, you know, and as I was getting ready in the hotel room, and uh, it's like, hey, that was me. The highlight of my job actually is doing audio production. A lot of the production that we used to do used to be on a 16-track recorder, but uh, basically what we use that for now is the jingle session. Cool summer sound. Cool. Four of us in the room are, are music educators, so we know something about diplomacy and about yielding when it's time to yield, and, and we're all really interested in the same thing, and that is making it better. And if that means Ben's idea is better than mine, then we do it. Of course, we all talk about you behind your back. I know that. We do anything from big band to rock and roll to country to rap, and how do we know which ones to do? I'm not quite sure. Experience, a lot of listening, listening to each other, taking each other's suggestions. Listening is the big thing for me. I've listened to so many different styles of music that when one comes up, it just sort of clicks uh, what we're supposed to do. And, and if we get it wrong, one of us gets it wrong, someone else in the group is sure to say, no, it should probably be this way. The most amusing <laughs> time is probably at Christmas when we listen to those amusing Ah, yes, uh, the Christmas that CD. Puts together. Yeah, Christmas CD. that's always... Embarrassing. Yes. Well, that time just earlier tonight when DJ made a mistake and, and, DJ, did, and didn't even know it. No, I think it's he so, made, it's so DJ made several that mistakes tonight. Yeah. Yeah. At least two, maybe more. <laughs> Where is he? He's I don't think I made any. <laughs> did you make any? Not that I recall. No, Lisa, you didn't I make any. I did no, either. I don't no. think so. No, I think no. it was just DJ. Mm -hmm. Hi, and welcome to the studios at Kenner Incorporated. Well, as you can see, singers have all gone home. They're gone like spit on a griddle. It's over, <laughs> they're out of here. <laughs> but I think there's a few more things we'd like to show you. 
Yeah, we've got some PAMS merchandise that some of you may have heard of or may have read about, but we'd like to show it to you firsthand. This is probably our most popular item, the PAMS t-shirt. It's a 50% cotton polyester blend, which means it'll be very comfortable for you. And the lovely and ever-popular Brooke is modeling it for us today, and as you can see, the t-shirt is white with dark blue printing. The PAMS windbreaker is manufactured especially for us by Silver Fox Sportswear. And they're probably in Tijuana or some other sweatshop someplace <laughs> like that. Um, again, you can see the official PAMS colors, blue and white, are used. And you get maximum comfort and functional easy care. At least that's what it says on the little tag. I don't know what that means, but that's what it says. Next is the PAMS designer sweatshirt. I love this thing, and I know that we all wear them here around the office. I do. It's 80% cotton. 20% polyester, completely machine washable, and made right here in the USA. The PAMS logo is in blue on gray, with three buttons at the top. Uh, moving on here, a couple of very popular items are the PAMS travel mug on the left and the PAMS coffee mug on the right. This travel mug is huge. It's about seven inches high with a securely fitting top made of high impact plastic. It's blue on white, the official PAMS colors, and you can take this baby with you while you listen to jingles on CD or cassette in your car. Is this a great country or what? Yeah, or what? Yeah. The coffee mug has the Ken R logo on one side and the classic PAMS insignia on the other. And it's a good size mug with an easy to grip handle. And finally, we come to our real premium item, the PAMS clock. Oh, now that's really handsome. Now this little item has real brass with the PAMS logo in blue on plexiglass. Now, if any of the wives or girlfriends of a jingle collector are watching, they might want to think about the official PAMS clock when the next birthday or anniversary comes around. And here's a switch. Batteries are included. Can you believe that? Cool. And from all of us here in Jingle Land, thanks so much for helping to keep the PAMS brand alive. So bye-bye and bye lots. <laughs>